gmail.com Leave your ego at the door. Peace to all the souls and all the Orishas, those known and unknown. I'm the Hood Mystic, and today I'm going to talk about archetypes. We are going to discuss the model and original pattern for which we all come from and we are just copies from. By studying archetypes, it allows us to tap into our origin. And by studying our origin, it gives us purpose. Today, in this video, we'll examine two kinds of warriors in particular. The warriors of Ogun and the warriors of Shango. Shango represents happiness, passion, desire, dancing, overall bliss, while Ogun speaks to labor, survival, warfare, strength, work, and guidance. Shango is the lover, the hero, the magician, and represents our physical lives, the sexy dude, the buff guy, the athlete, the player. Ogun is the sage, the explorer, the outlaw, representing the spiritual life. If we understand our spiritual life combined with our physical life, then we have balanced the Shango polarity and the Ogun polarity within ourselves. If we are deeply within the spiritual and disregarding the physical, we could stay in the polarity of Ogun, which is fine, but there will be an, an, a deep desire to cross over into the Shango plane. Even so, the Shango archetype with all of his physical bliss and all of his physical glory will eventually seek more out of life and this is found in the Ogun polarity. So like I said, it is based best to balance these energies out. For the ladies, when dating or dealing with a Shango archetype, you are centered in physical love, passion, and bliss. When you're dealing with an Ogun archetype, you would be centered in learning particular skills, developing abilities and healing from serious traumas or wounds. As women, you may be programmed to only seek out a Shango archetype and avoid Ogun's. Based on this, you may experience physical bliss, although fleeting. But when it comes to developing the learning techniques or the particular healing, that comes from past relationships not being successful, sometimes a Shango type archetype will make it worse. When dealing with healing or dealing with particular processes, you may need space. The best kind of archetype is to seek would be that of a Shango. Now, if you have dealt with Shangos for a majority of your life and avoided the Shango archetype, based upon being afraid of the player, being afraid of the masculine man, or being afraid of the man that has multiple women, you may be missing out on a level of passion and bliss that is necessary for your development. So when invoking these archetypes, whether you are a man or woman, you could definitely develop that masculine energy, whether within you or in or within your counterpart. And discovering these archetypes is helping us discover our purpose and it is allowing us to have complementary relationships that support us long-term. There are many Patakis that speaks to Shango and Ogun's war over women. Shango, whether directly or indirectly is known to steal and to take Ogun's wives and vice versa. Women tend to flee Shango and run into the woods where Ogun has open arms 
and a safe place for them to heal. There have been countless wars between Shango and Ogun. Shango's charms and promises are often too difficult to resist for the feminine energy. Ogun, always feeling betrayed, fights until he cannot fight any longer and then retreats in the woods. And when he retreats in the woods, he does not work. And this scares the other Orishas and other gods throughout the land. And so what is necessary to revive Ogun is the love of Oshun, the love of Oba, the love of Oya. One could be easily fooled to believe that Shango's energy is the only energy that you need. But a man that is willing to work and refine ourselves to help you reach this divine level has to be incorporated. And the best way to incorporate this energy is by invoking the power of Ogun. Many women who have fled the pressures of life have found solace within Ogun. Even though this is the case, there still will remain a desire for Shango energy that will never dissipate. That energy is always present within women. So as a man, you must never forget to invoke both energies within your relationship. And as women, you have to recognize that if you are focused on just simply one type, you need to realize that there are differences and each difference with each archetype comes with benefits and drawbacks. So the best thing to do is to reflect on this information and decide what would be the best man for you. What would be the best energy for you to invoke? I hope this video was useful. I just wanted to speak to these two archetypes real quick and follow me on Instagram at The Hood Mystic. Also check my website out at www.hoodmystic.com and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace.